Hey, how's it going folks? It's the Hellbent and today I'm going to release my auto hotkey vector class so that way you can use vector in your or vectors in your scripts. Um, I've added, I don't know, about 10 different methods, maybe a few more than that to it, but I'll probably update it with uh, new methods later on. Um, or if you have any suggestions on other methods that you're familiar with using vectors, I can add them in. So check back on um, what I would suggest you do is if you plan on using this when you get the a copy of the vector put a link to this video in it because I'll probably if I update the class you know if you don't use the class for like six months or whatever check the video because there'll probably be updates to the class just download the new or just uh, copy the new class and replace your old one or if there's any bugs I'll, I'll use this video as a way of a uh, um, so whatever the link is, there's going to be a pastebin, sorry, there's going to be a pastebin link in the description to the class. And as I make changes to the class, I'll just update that link. Um, so if you're, if you know, it's six months from now or whatever, and you want to check to see if there's any updates to the class, just make sure you include a link to this video up at the top of the, the page, you know, and then click on the video, go to the description, click on it, the pastebin, and see if it's a new one. You know, um, I'm also going to also in the description, there's going to be a link to this working example that shows you how to use um, how to use the a couple of the methods for the vector class. So this is it here. Oh, my the recording software slows down my computer so much, but just a bunch of orbiting spheres following my mouse around. But uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to this example. Um, I've already included all the GDIP stuff at the very bottom, so the working example ends at line like 96 or whatever, and then everything else below that is just a bunch of different uh, GDIP functions that I've created and then the rest of the GDIP library. So you don't even have to worry about that. But you will need to include whatever you name the class. Um, you'll have to make sure you include that at the top of the script. Um, it also shows, I'll show you quickly how to create a new um, vector. So it's just create a variable that you're going to store, uh, use to hold the object, and then say new HB vector, and then pass it an X and Y argument. And then some of the methods you can use is uh, uh, subtract, set uh, magnitude, get the magnitude, add um, the direction, um, the distance, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Bunch, whole bunch of different methods, but th this is just a simple example. Um, but that's it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about it, or if you have any suggestions for uh, ways that the methods could be improved, or if you have ideas, if you know of other methods that are missing that I haven't added in, um, maybe you can, I don't know, create a pastebin link with the method and I'll add it into the class and then update the link to it. But anyways, hope you enjoy. Uh, I hope that maybe some of you will share uh, video links of things that you've created using this. But anyways, peace.